15th January 2021 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bab Dada Madhuban Sweet children the father himself the one you have been worshiping for half the cycle is now teaching you it is through the study that you became deities question what is the wonder of the lift of the power of yoga answer you children ascend and the lift of the power of yoga in a second that is you receive the inheritance of liberation in life in a second you know that it takes you 5000 years to come down the ladder and that you climb up in a second this is the wonder of the power of yoga all sins of you souls are cut away by having remembrance of the father and you became sadu pradhan om shanti the spiritual father sits here and explains to you spiritual children the praise of the spiritual father has been told to the children he is the ocean of knowledge the truth the living being and the blissful one he is the ocean of peace he is given all the unlimited praise the father is the ocean of knowledge you know that at this time all humans are oceans of devotion those who are the greatest devotees receive respect at this time in the iron age there is devotion and sorrow whereas in the golden age there is the happiness of knowledge it isn't that they have knowledge that this praise is of just the one father it is also the praise of the children because the father teaches the children that is he teaches them this pilgrimage the father has explained that there are two pilgrimages devotees go on pilgrimages and go to all the four main pilgrimage places for the duration of their pilgrimage they don't indulge in vice they don't drink alcohol or eat anything impure sometimes they go to the badrinath and sometimes to kashi they worship god god is only one they shouldn't go wandering around everywhere means looking for him they still go on a pilgrimage to shri baba the greatest pilgrimage remembered is to banaras which is also called the place of shiva they go in all directions but no one knows the biography or occupation of the one they go to have a vision of or the one they worship this is why that is called blind faith to worship someone and bow down to that one and not know his biography is called blind faith they celebrate all of that at home and worship the goddess so much they make goddesses of clay and decorate them a great deal for instance they make a non living image of lakshmi when you ask them what is her biography they reply that she was an empress of the golden age or sita of the silver age but for how long did they rule from when till when did the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan last no one knows this on the path of devotion people go on pilgrimages all of those paths are to meet god to study the scriptures is also a way to meet god however where is god they say that he is omnipresent you understand that you are now becoming deities through this study the father himself comes and teaches you the path of devotion to meet that father continues for half the cycle you say baba purify us and also 
give us your introduction as to who you are baba has explained that you souls are points it is souls that receive bodies here therefore souls perform actions here of deities it is said that they ruled in the golden age in the past christians believe that god the father really did establish paradise but that they were not there then paradise existed in bharat their intellects are still good the people of bharat became sab pradhan and they also became tam pradhan the christians don't see as much happiness or as much sorrow those who have come now at the end are so happy previously they were poor one can earn a lot of money by working hard christ first came alone and established his religion which continue to grow one grew into two then into four and it gradually expanded in that way look how big the tree of christians has become the foundation is the dt clan that is being established here at this time first of all there is just the one brahma then the number of adopted children the brahmins increases when the father teaches many brahmins are created at first there was just this one so much growth has taken place through just one and there will be so much more expansion however many sun and moon dynasty deities there are there have to be that many means brahmins at first there is just the one father his soul exists all the time how many children souls does the father have the father of all of us souls is the one eternal father and the world cycle continues to turn not all human beings exist all the time so have to play their various parts the trunk of this tree that comes first is that of the deities then the tubes emerge from that therefore the father sits here and explains to you children what he does when he comes it is the soul that embodies everything the father sits here and explains how he comes all of you children remember me when you half became impure in the golden and silver ages you were happy you didn't remember me when sorrow started to increase in the copper age you called out to me oh baba supreme father supreme soul yes children i heard you what do you want baba come and purify the impure baba we are very unhappy and impure come and purify us have mercy on us bless me you called out to me baba come and purify the impure the golden age is called pure the father himself sits here and explains this according to the drama plan when it is the confluence age when the world has become old it is then that i come you understand that there are two types of sanyasi they are hat yogis they cannot be called raj yogis their renunciation is limited they leave their homes and families and go and live in the jungles they became followers of gurus they relate the story of king gopichand he asked why are you leaving your home where are you going there are many stories in the scriptures you bkes also go to the kings and teach them knowledge and yoga there is the asthavakra geeta in which a king is portrayed having disinterest in the world he said i want someone to help me attain god he announced this to the whole kingdom this is that same time you go and give this knowledge to the kings to enable them 
to meet the father just as you have met the father you also try to make others meet him you tell me we will make you into the masters of heaven and grant you liberation and liberation in life then you tell them remember shri baba alone and no one else in the beginning you used to look at one another and go into trance it was a great wonder the father was in this one and so he shown that miracle he used to pull everyone string bap and dada became one we used to create a graveyard where everyone would go to sleep in remembrance of the father and they would all go into trance all of that was the cleverness of shubaba some begin to consider it to be magic this was shubaba's game the father is the magician the businessman the jewel merchant he is also the laundryman the goldsmith and the lawyer he has everyone released from ravan's jail everyone calls out to him o oh, purifier o oh, resident of the far away land come and purify us come into the impure world in an impure body and purify us you now understand the meaning of this the father comes and tells you you call out to me to come into the land of ravan i was sitting in the supreme abode you call me into hell the land of ravan to establish heaven you said now take us to the land of happiness i am now taking you children therefore this is the drama the kingdom that i gave you ended and the kingdom of ravan continued from the copper age you fail into the five vices and there are the images of that at jagannath puri the one who was number 1 took 84 births and is now in the last number he is the one who has to go into the first number again this brahma is sitting here vishnu is also sitting here what is the connection between them no one in the world knows this saraswati and brahma are in fact lakshmi and narayan the masters of heaven they are now the masters of hell they are now doing tapasya in order to become lakshmi and narayan there is the accurate memorial of this in the delwada temple the father came here and this is why it is written abu is the greatest pilgrimage place of all the pilgrimage places of all the religions because the father comes here and grants salvation to those of all religions you first go to the land of peace and then to heaven everyone else will go and stay in the land of peace that memorial is non living whereas this one is in the living form when you became the living form of that all of those temples etc will be destroyed those memorials will then be created once again on the path of devotion you are now establishing heaven people believe that heaven is up above you now understand that this bharat was heaven and that it is now hell when you look at the cycle the entire knowledge enters your intellect other religions start to come in the copper age look how many religions there are now this is the iron age you are now at the confluence age you are making effort to go to the golden age in the iron age everyone has a stone intellect in the golden age everyone has a divine intellect you were those with divine intellects and have became those with stone intellects 
you now have to become those with divine intellect again the father says you called out for me and so i have now come i tell you conquer lust and became the conquerors of the world this is the main vice everyone in the golden age is viceless in the iron age they are vicious the father says children now became viceless you have been enlarging in vice for 63 births now in this last birth became pure everyone now has to die i have come to establish heaven therefore now follow my shrimat listen to what i am telling you you are now making effort to change your intellect from stone to divine you come all the way down the ladder and then you climb up you are like genie there is the story of a genie who asked a king to give him some work to do so the king told him to go up and down the ladder many people say what is it to god that he makes us go up and down the ladder what happened to god that he created such a ladder the father explains this is an eternal play you have taken 84 births in 5000 years it took you 5000 years to come down and you then go up in a second this is the lift of your power of yoga the father says remember me and your sins will be cut away when the father comes you go up in a second and you then come down over 5000 years your degrees continue to decrease you have a lift in which you ascend liberation in life in a second you have to become satopradhan you will then gradually became tamapradhan it takes 5000 years acha you then have to become satopradhan from tamapradhan in one birth now that i am giving you the sovereignty of heaven will you not remain pure however when they don't receive poison those who are angry and lustful beat their wives they throw them out or set fire to them poor innocent mothers are assaulted so much this too it's fixed in the drama acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point in order to become a master and claim the sovereignty of the world conquer the main vice of lust you must definitely became completely viceless second point just as you have found the father you must also try to enable everyone to find the father give the father introduction teach them the true pilgrimage blessing may you go into solitude and find a solution to every problem in a second with the power of silence explanation when a new and powerful invention is created it is done underground here to be in solitude is to remain underground whatever time you have even while carrying out your activities while listening to and relating knowledge while giving directions go into silence beyond this physical world and beyond the consciousness of your body this practice and stage of experiencing this and giving 
are thus this experience will give you a solution to every problem by doing so you will give others the experience of peace and power in a second whoever comes in front of you will experience having a vision through this stage slogan to step aside from wasteful and sinful thoughts and remain stable in the soul conscious stage is to be yogyukta om shanti 